past. Sometimes a sound, a smell or even a long forgotten song can spark a memory. And while out walking my dog Frank, this happened to me. I stumbled upon a beautiful traditional English wood filled with so many varieties of trees, beech, oak, ash and yew. And there, below the green canopy, were a sea of bluebells blanketing the ground. The sight of these delicate flowers brought to mind Emily Bronte's poem, The Bluebell. Yorkshire this winter has been horrible and like Emily in her poem I'd long for warmer days so the flowers can bloom and the sky can be blue again. Walking with my dog like Emily did thinking how wonderful the countryside is in the sun and then coming across this sea of English bluebells made me smile and gave me hope that summer is just around the corner. The bluebell is the sweetest flower that waves in summer air. Its blossom has the mightiest power to soothe my spirit's care. There is a spell in purple heath, too wildly, sadly drear. The violet has a fragrant breath, but fragrance will not cheer. The trees are bare, the sun is cold, and seldom, seldom seen. The heavens have lost their zone of gold, and earth its robe of green. And ice upon the glancing stream has cast its sombre shade, and distant hills and valleys seem in frozen mist array. The bluebell cannot charm me now, the heath has lost its bloom. The violets in the glen below, they yield no sweet perfume. But though I mourn the heather bell, tis better far away. I know how fast my tears would swell to see it smile today. And that wood flower that hides so shy beneath the mossy stone, its balmy scent and dewy eye, tis not for them I moan. It is the slight and stately stem, the blossoms silvery blue, the buds hide like a sapphire gem in sheaths of emerald hue. Tis these that breathe upon my heart a calm and softening spell that if it makes a teardrop start has power to soothe as well. For these I weep so long divided through winter's dreary day and longing weep but most when guided on withered banks to stray. If chilly then the light should fall adown the dreary sky and gild dank and darken walls with transient brilliancy. 
How do I yearn, how do I pine for the time of flowers to come and turn me from the fade and shine to mourn the fields of home? Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please do the like and subscribe thing because it really does help me out and it lets YouTube know we want to watch more Bronte contents. I'll see you again next week. Bye.